I wanted to break a world record for Smash, since if there's anything I'm competent at, it's this particular video game. I searched for a bit and one that seemed the most doable was the longest video game marathon playing a fighting game. It had been set in August 2016 by Daniel, some dude in Canada. He played for 57 hours straight, so that was the number to beat. However, I didn't just want to beat the record. I wanted to crush it. So the goal? Play for 69 hours straight. No further explanation needed. Me and my roommate Yusuf read the guidelines for this record and made a plan of what I needed. Lights, a camera, a lens, some big ass clocks, a tripod, and a number of volunteers. Why volunteers you ask? Well, a key guideline in the record attempt is that for every hour I do my record, TWO unaffiliated individuals need to be witnessing. These people are crucial to the run since they represent the eyes and ears of the Guinness World Record. So I asked some people to apply, vetted the f out of the applicants, got all that settled, all the equipment ready, game day was approaching. Was I nervous? A little bit, you know, but I really like playing Smash Bros. If there's any game I could play for that long, it's definitely this one. It's the sleep and the food and the bathroom usage and the general living conditions I was worried about. Mostly the sleep. Thankfully, the Guinness World Record says that for every hour you record, you accumulate 10 minutes of break. So me and Yusuf developed a plan where for every few hours, I get a 5 or 10 minute break to pee or stretch, while also saving up enough to get a 2 hour nap each night. So not to brag, but I was looking forward to 4 hours of sleep in 3 days. Hey yo, what the f And I know what you're thinking, Nick, where are your poop breaks? I didn't want to make sure to avoid food with too much fiber or too little. I actually wasn't sure what the move was for foods that were best to eat. And since there weren't many search results for food that delays making you poop, we simply decided to keep my diet similar to what I normally eat so as to not f anything up. AKA my usual Chipotle order, but with no beans. After setting up the schedule of what my breaks would look like, getting all the witnesses ready and the equipment set up, we were ready to go. I had two streams set up, one for the viewers and one for the witnesses slash world record people. Side note, it's been a while since I recorded this, I have indeed chopped my hair off since then. The Guinness guidelines said there couldn't be direct screen capture, so literally it just had to be a camera staring at the screen with me and the official timers in view. Obviously, this is really hard to watch for an audience, so I had a different stream set up for the people. Before we officially started, I had to give a bit of a speech to make it official. Hello, my name is Nick. Uh, I will be attempting to break the world record for the longest video game marathon playing a fighting game. My application reference number is... I'm gonna count down from one to three, and that's officially when you guys should start your master stopwatches, okay? Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Okay. I got it. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you, fellas. All right. Gonna be starting now. Until the world record attempt had officially started, the first thing I was gonna do was unlock every character. All 68 remaining. We unlock, and we unlock Ness. Oh. I'm so good at T. I'm actually one of the most talented players in the world. I played against CPUs for two hours before I got very bored. He just killed me with boomerang! I've never seen that before! Oh! Not a good sign. Decided to switch things up though and play classic mode. Ah, I f***ing hate this mode normally. To me, its only purpose is to help unlock characters and kill time at the dentist's office. It's so boring. I did end up playing this mode for 10 hours though. There's actually a lot to do in classic mode, whether it be get f***ed up by CPUs. Got mm, chef's kiss to that read. That was beautiful. I was scared. Catch some hands. <laughs> This was actually the worst part of classic mode. I f***ing hate these hands with a deep passion. They have constantly prevented me from getting a perfect score. These unfair bitch ass mother- Unlock Ryu! Ryu! Look stupid. Hey bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet bro, watch your jet! It was a good time. I actually consider this one of the most fun parts of the runs where I played by myself. Low stakes, had a bit of a competitive aspect with the scores, and I got rewarded with a new character every time, so I was entertained. Not just doing a whole classic mode and your reward is unlocking Olimar. What made it more memorable was that we hit a number of milestones during this portion. For example, I stood up for the first time in the entire run at this point because I'd gone five hours sitting down. You know, blood clots are cringe, so we, we want to avoid those. I took a break for the first time, peed for the first time. How did you like pee a good amount? <laughs> I was weird. not paying attention. <laughs> Eat Chipotle. Mm. Mm. Yo, that shit is different. Oh my god. Had my first Red Bull sip. 
God, I felt like such a winner. However, the biggest milestone in this run was hit pretty soon, actually. Just thinking about this funny number is killing me already. Four, three, two, one! Oh, yeah. oh P comedy, guys. So far, the run was going really smoothly. We were cruising by. Even got the chance to talk about the lore of Guinness World Records. Okay, fun fact that I'm not sure if a lot of people know. Uh, the Guinness World Record- And now I will recount the story in post-editing because of how badly I butchered it live. An executive for Guinness Brewery, you know, like the beer company, was at a party where he and his host argued about the fastest game bird in Europe, a thing we do at all parties, of course, and failed to find an answer in any reference book. And so he decided to make a little book of fun facts and figures meant for settling pub arguments, thus birthing the Guinness Book of World Records. If you're wondering how I'm feeling during this run, here's my progress report at midnight. We've just passed midnight, and I'm feeling still very good. Not tired in the slightest, actually. If anything, I'm feel I'm, I'm like excited. Like I keep I want to play more. Like I wouldn't want to go to sleep now. A little bit later, at ten and a half hours in, we have officially unlocked every Smash character. Oh, let's go! That means we could finally play online, and I'm pleased to report the first match of the day was a dub. Ah, uh, GG's, baby! <laughs> However, we quickly took a turn for the worse after the first instance of hand pain. The only thing is my, my right arm is starting to hurt. Like, my forearm, like, right here. This is hurting. It's like right here. Right here that hurts. But, and it's like so, it's not like sharp. It's actually very dull. This, for me, was the biggest fear I had for the run. Playing for that long can definitely wear out your hands, and the fact that I was already feeling it 11 hours into the run, out of the 69, was a problem. My wrist is starting to hurt a lot. Not a lot, not a lot. A good amount though. Like in a scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 5. Thankfully, I had a backup plan. Before the recording started, I looked into the claw grip method of holding a controller. Normally I hold my GameCube controller like this, but the claw grip looks like this. It's supposed to let you hit a wider array of buttons at any given time while also putting a lot less strain on your fingers. It seemed too complicated to learn at the time, but I memorized how it looks just in case. I'm kind of doing a claw grip right now. I feel like a boomer, but it helps. No, it's feeling good. With the claw grip, it's good, but my results are shit. My ego can't handle losing too many times in a row, so I tried an easier character. This birth, the Donkey Kong arc. This might seem insignificant, but by the end of the 69 hours, Donkey Kong was by far my most played character. So this is a special moment. In fact, the Donkey Kong rise to stardom was only made possible by Andrew, the Dr. Mario. What's up, man? Are you, if you're in the stream, how are you doing? Andrew was a viewer of the chat who had a really good Dr. Mario and had no shame in beating a crippled man's ass after 11 hours of Smash Bros. Oh, I'm getting f***ed up. Hey, if you're in the stream, stop beating me up. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. Okay, no, no, you're gonna- Alright, ban him. Mods, when he comes back, ban him. Insta-ban. Insta-ban. Really?! Ban him. Reveal yourself. Right now. Right there, Mods! Get him! Learning claw grip on the fly meant I had a lot to get used to. I'm in a cargo throw. I'm in a forward tilt roll! Oh my goodness, I didn't mean that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But having someone to play with like this really made it easier to keep going. No, I saved him. Oh! Wow, man! Damn it! Mod, ban him. You ban him? He's right there! Get him! I was slowly getting better and better, finally taking some dubs on Andrew the Menace. Anyway, see ya, Andrew. You gonna tech this, Andrew? Psych, there is no tech. You're dead. <laughs> Let's fuck stool him. <laughs> and best of all, my hands were feeling a lot better. Yo, this actually, this claw grip is kind of broken. It's really helping. I'm really happy. I was scared uh, that the run would be early, but this is actually feeling really good. You, Andrew, I was saying that feel good moment! You asshole! Hey, you team back! What's crazy is I've been playing for Andrew with a while, but like, in the grand scheme of things, he is a speck of dust in this entire video, in this entire record. We even made it to the 12 hour milestone at this point. 12 hours? 12 hours! Whoa! Crazy half a day. We're crazy and me and Andrew just kept gaming as I mastered my claw grip I got better with my gameplay and eventually attack. Yep. We still gaming. I Think we I don't think we got a lead yet <gasps> We did Andrew no 
Oh, GG's, King. GG's. We got into Elite Smash, and unfortunately, the game automatically disconnects you from your most recent opponent after that. So after exactly an hour of gaming, I had to officially depart from the GOAT. And that wasn't even the worst of it. We... No way, dude! We missed 4.20 a.m.? This is so sad. Soon enough, I had a five minute break where, to help cope and also keep myself focused, I came up with a challenge to complete where I tried spelling out a secret word with the Elite Smash portraits. These Red Bulls have been really helping me out. I never drink caffeine, so it has a good, a strong effect on me. So just drinking one Red Bull has like recharged me like crazy. Hey guys, have you ever heard of foreshadowing? 6 a.m. finally hit and here's how I was feeling. I think this is mostly due to the Red Bull. I'm not very tired. I am very eager, you know? I am very, ha like I'm, I, I wanna complete this challenge, but it's not in a way that's like grueling. Like I wanna like, hell yeah, I wanna grab it by the balls. Very determined, especially since I'm no longer in that pain that I had earlier from, from my hands, they're fine now. In a scale of one to 10, I'm honestly feeling like a three. Like I still feel as probably as energetic as the first couple hours. <laughs> 200 battles in 16 hours? That's crazy. Beautiful, our U is complete. Oh, it looks great. Since I was feeling good, I didn't bother switching things up. I just kept going at it, trying to unlock my secret message. Yusef eventually woke up a little later and delivered me some breakfast. What a sweetie. Get yourself a Yusef, everyone. I've said this before. You need a Yusef in your life. After playing Smash for a while, I began to make little discoveries and realizations. For instance, one thing I learned was that gamers are especially toxic in the morning. Ooh, okay, Tyler, you feeling yourself, dog? What's scary? Oh. Bitch, what's up? Don't ever teabag on me. Got him. Three. He's mad. <laughs> we interrupt this toxicity with an emergency progress report. Very tired right now that it's 947. I'm feeling like a... Like a 7 out of 10 in tiredness, like everything just came crashing down in the last few hours. Whether it's because of the caffeine or something. I'm still determined. Raw willpower is keeping me going. But if there were a pillow right in front of me, I would fall the f*** asleep. Thankfully, a saving grace had just arrived. Is that Vernius right here? My friend Vernius decided to visit. I had to make it to the 25 hour mark in order to get my first sleep break and so this was just the boost I needed to get there. Oh man, it feels so good to, to play with a human being now. I, I, I think you needed a break from online dude. I really do. Thankfully after 19 hours of gaming, I still had a little bit of energy in me to bully my friends. Oh my god dude. I got you, You're so kind, you're so kind. Ah, Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. No falcon punch, no knee. <laughs> ah, wait a second! Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> the big 20 hours were reached at this point as well. 20 hours, fellas, let's go. Oh, no. It was all going much smoother with Vernius being there. My energy was higher than it's been in hours. I think you can kind of tell in the finale of a 40 match long minigame. Oh hey, my God, I'm final battle. Shig? Give me hero, give me hero. Oh, oh my so God. so there's going to be a winner regardless. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like, I, I want to anyone, please be hero. Don't make me lose after going so far. Yeah! Oh my God, hero, there we go, there we go. One. Oh. Shut your stupid Bitch. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! I told you this mode is the most important mode ever! Yeah! Imagine being this enthusiastic about Smash Bros after 20 hours of gaming. What the hell is wrong with me? Here's a progress report an hour before the 24 hour mark. Two hours before the big chungus break starts. Okay, so at round 8 a.m. I was feeling the most tired I have the whole stream. I was around a 9 out of 10 for tiredness. I was struggling to stay awake. I was a little bit more cranky than you. Like things that, you know, normally don't bother me were bothering me more than they should. Then when Vernius came, I felt a lot better because I had finally someone to talk Aww. to. Um, so it helped a lot. I think at peak, I was like a four out of 10. Yeah! Right now at this moment at the 23 hour mark, I'm like a solid five, solid five. So yeah, overall feeling okay, feeling not as cranky anymore. Woo! My Ooh. name is, thank you for the 200 bits! 3, 2, 1! One. Woo! 24! 24 officially, baby. Day 1, 
complete. A whole day of Smashy Brothers. A whole day of Smash Bros. Holy sh**, fellas. I can't believe I have to do this for 40 more hours. Yeah. Yusef then decided to ask me a big question. Do you feel like you can do yeah. it? Depends. I, I, I'll let you know if I can truly do it after the nap. That yeah, will determine yeah. everything. Like, if I actually feel refreshed or if I feel dead. I'm gonna game while standing up. Is that okay? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a second. Eh. Two bros standing up while gaming. <laughs> at this point, even with Vern there, I was hard feeling the tiredness. Just look at my face. Oh my goodness. Put that tongue back inside, son. What am I doing? This is the fattest yawn I think I've ever witnessed. Maybe in my life. I can barely speak. I'll, I'll do the talking for you. Hey guys, please subscribe. We are dying. Thankfully, wasn't tired enough that I couldn't game. Oh, yeah, you don't get the down on that, man! <laughs> oh my god! And then, we finally made it. Three, two, one. Okay, 25. Break. 25. I'm taking a break Woo! for three, three. three and a half. My big break was here. Woo! I had three hours and 15 minutes to do what I wanted, aka sleep. I was a little anxious too, because depending on how I felt out of this nap was going to determine if the run was possible or not. I made sure to rush the little things I wanted to do, like finish my Chipotle, take a pee, and just pee, because I still didn't need to poop, and then proceed to knock the f*** out. Fellas, let me tell you that when I woke up, I have never in my life felt so energized from a nap. This was heavenly! For some godforsaken reason, I woke up before my alarm rang. But it was perfect, because it gave me time to take a shower, eat some food in peace. It was great! And if you're wondering, yes, I slept with all the lights on. I was so exhausted, they did not bother me whatsoever. I was back on stream and ready for day two to officially begin. I did not know two hours could feel so refreshing. It feels like I slept like nine, like a perfect nine, you know? This is so doable, fellas. This is so- that- that was 69 hours are mine. For this portion, I was mostly playing with the viewers, some of whom had watched me for hours at this point. The people who it would have been impossible to continue on without. <laughs> Yo, everything that's going wrong for Benny is- <laughs> <laughs> Yusuf had joined me at this point as well, and it was overall a great time. We even had a very intellectual discussion at one point. You know, apparently he actually says it's more than time than me. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he does. No, he doesn't. He does. <laughs> he confirms. Shut up. You guys are so... He does, literally does not say it. That's a you meme. Have you seen it? No, <laughs> but I know. He does say it. <laughs> it's a meme. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's several people said it. Because they're on the meme. Okay, so I'm going to say I haven't watched it. I'm actually stupid. What do you say? Google. Google it. What do you say? Someone's like, haven't watched it, but can't confirm. Yeah, exactly. That's literally like the meme. He doesn't say it. And progress report. Right now, in terms of 1 to 10, I feel like I'm a 4, between a 4 and a 5. Like I'm at a f coin flip of whether I can play some more and... Uh, stop playing for the night kind of like if I were just playing normally my hand does hurt a bit That is kind of bothering me the pain is like uh, I would say it's also like a four out of five I so a four or a five out of ten new gaming positions just dropped as I mentioned earlier My hands were hurting a bit even with the claw grip and so one big brain viewer suggested I put the controller down on my desk and play only using my fingers not my thumb this helped tremendously the thumb is the finger that works the tendon in the arm the most, and so by not using it, you alleviate a lot of the pain there. Now, I have no idea if that's true, I made it up, but what I do know is that this position definitely helped. Yo, actually playing only with my fingers and not my thumbs helps a lot. After 8 hours of gaming with the viewers, I decided to rest my hands some more by playing Century Smash, a mindless offline mode where I didn't have to really try much and I could just focus on keeping my hands in a comfortable position. The comfort of these bad boys was what was gonna make or break the run, so I had to take care of them as much as possible. I was getting quite tired too, so I decided to take a caffeine pill for the first time. I Tipper? You for real? Okay, is this it? Yes, caffeine tablets, wahoo! Boy, do I love drugs. I'm so excited to go back to my life. Like, I'm just daydreaming about things that I used to do before this took over. I don't know, life just like going to the gym sounds so nice. Going out to eat, using the bathroom whenever I want, taking a shower whenever I want. Life sounds so beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to go back to it. Daisy! You motherfucker, Daisy. After some casual play, back to online we went to try and write out the secret message. 
Yo, my my Ridley is fucking crazy. Help me! I am really good at this game. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I do it. You wanna see me do it again? <laughs> Some people were kind enough to make it more entertaining by gifting subs if I completed some challenges, like landing a falcon punch. I'm determined. Hey, baby! Bonus. That was for you too, man. That was for you too. Gotcha. Witnesses, of course, were as dutiful as ever. Nice. Thank you for this glorious reminder. What hour is it in America? There's multiple hours, but the most important time zone, it is 5.39 a.m. All was going well until a foolish idea sprouted in my mind. All right, holding up, I'm all right, I'm good. I'm, I'm thriving. I'm about to take a caffeine pill because I'm really tired. Oh, look at that mother I am. I knew I shouldn't have done this. That's why I was so discreet about it. I didn't say a word as I was taking my second caffeine pill. Keep in mind, I am a person who rarely ever takes caffeine, whether it be through coffee or anything else. And this was my second 200 milligram caffeine pill six hours after the first. Wonder how that'll end up. Guess we'll find out later. Do you feel resentment towards the game? Nah. I or do you feel like this is the perfect game for me to spend this time. Yeah, that I feel that. I feel like also feel like right now I could go a week without playing and feel fine. <laughs> GG's. She lift Lynn! F finish it! <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. As you can see, before I was doing swell. I think the snowball started to roll in this specific match against the rat. Ah dang it, you got it. Dang it, he got it again. Started out fine, I suppose, but by the end of it, I was seething. More mad than usual. And I needed to write down what I was feeling. Oh, is any of the witnesses there? I would like to... I need a testimony right now. This would be great. It is 11.41. I am very tired. I am very cranky right now. Anything can set me off. I feel a little bit, obviously not hopeless, that's not the word I'd use, but I'm like a little bit like distraught that the fact the next time I sleep is in like seven hours. That shit sucks. Yusef came in a little bit after the chill, which was nice. I think he knew it was about to go down. You know, he tried helping me regarding my sleep schedule, but it was like a blur. I could barely process what he was saying. I could feel my heart rate starting to go up. I was getting kind of jumpy too. I was shaking my legs like crazy. This shit sucks, dude. This shit sucks ass and I can't wait to be done with this. Dude. Holy shit. Anyway, okay, deep breath. It's only- Started taking deep breaths. Yusuf was really trying his best to help me out and stay calm too. Yeah, dude, it's all good. It's all good. Take a step by step. It's all good. I don't feel too well. What do you feel? Like, very anxious. What are you anxious about? Talk. Kind of like I'm uh, building up a lot of stress. Yeah, it's that's the symptom of the caffeine. Yeah, um, I'm feeling that hard. Yeah, because you don't take a lot of caffeine, and then you took a max on dose at one point. Someone can look like I'm feeling I'm shaking right now. Like that's that's the caffeine, dude. That's literally the caffeine, and also you're building up the anxiety in your head. Yeah, yeah. So like. It seems I started to feel a little better at one point too. <laughs> like this is a very s strong, strong feeling of uh, overwhelmingness that I was yeah. feeling for a little bit. I think it just like all hit me all like right now. I'm feeling a, little, a lot better than I was like literally two minutes ago. The overwhelmingness was hitting me like a truck. We're feeling I'm feeling better now, thankfully. Um, but wow, that was a lot. Oh, it's just so cute. The fact that I think the worst is over. It's just like I still feel a little bit jittery, you know? No, that, that's totally normal. High caffeine content at one time, that's what it does to you. Man. I really underestimated it. Damn. Caffeine? Yeah. I Dude, was like. It's a, it's a drug. It would f everything up if I took a break now, right? Um, like sleep? Just like a, like a, like a break. I don't know. I feel just very uncomfortable right now. Um, no, you can take a break. Let me figure something out with the schedule. And we made it so far. That line was me accepting that the run was over. Thankfully, I had some minutes accumulated for an emergency break, and so off stream, I proceeded to have a mini breakdown. No, I, I need to stop playing right now, I think. I'm gonna stop playing right now. Um, break? Yeah, I need it. Basically, I was panicking and feeling like I was fing dying. Like my heart was trying to jump out of my chest. I had never had a panic attack before, and in hindsight, I can say that's what I was going through at the moment. 
But I didn't know that. And so I thought my life was over and my cause of death was playing Smash Bros for too long. Yusuf, however, was able to calm me down by explaining these were extremely common symptoms to having taken too much caffeine. And that he'd seen it many times before with other people. I genuinely did not know that caffeine could f*** you up like that. And so after being explained that it was a normal reaction, I felt a lot better about it and finally started to calm down. Ate some bread to put food in my stomach, drank some more water and Gatorade, and I was golden. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, okay. Um... Subchat. Without a doubt, the lowest point of the run, which is good news though, since everything after this was a lot more doable. Caffeine is actually a drug. Be very careful with it. Uh, I'm still very feeling a little jittery. Um, yeah, the normal caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> caffeine vibes, bro. Yeah, yeah. And so, and so, I feel, I feel like it's definitely coming down. I'm feeling a lot better than I did before. But as we all know, with caffeine, what follows soon after is the crash. Okay, so I feel like I'm in the opposite of the peak now. Where I'm in the decline. I'm extraordinarily tired right now. I will not have any caffeine to alleviate these symptoms. But while I'm tired. To help me feel better and wake me up, Yusuf decided to play with me for the first time on stream. Yusuf doesn't really play Smash too often, and so I started with the basics by teaching him some secret Smash tech. Shield. When you're on shield the... on ledge? Yeah. Don't press anything in shield. There I played go. Smash for over a decade. I had no idea you could do that. What the hell? That's a thing? Yep, yep, yep. It's a very common one. Because the gap was so big, I had to give myself some handicaps when playing. I'll, I'll do Falcon only I'll do only Falcon punches. Do you think you can land one? He's, no question. No, if you only hit Falcon punches. Yes. <laughs> I'll only do Falcon punches. No, 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 no. That's, 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 too, that's too broken. Though I think it became a little too broken when I gave Yusuf a teammate. She got it. No way you... That's crazy. Glitched. And for that, <laughs> I'm sorry. You bitch ass mother- I'm gonna do the first- I read you so hard! I read you, you so do, hard! I thought you were gonna be a good boy. I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna be sneaky. <laughs> you were gaming so hard, I didn't even notice. We officially hit the 48 hour mark. Beautiful, thanks. Also, today's a few days of hours. 48. Oh shit, yeah! Wow, two days. Thank you so much. The last full day was over with. Only 21 hours left. This will literally be. Is this the last day? Home stretch. Easy clap. E just like this dub. Just like this dub. Easy clap, fellas. Easy clap. Thought I'd give you a quick progress update as well. Uh, in terms of tiredness, between a 1 and a 10, I would say I'm a. S s five. Five. Let's yeah, go with five. five I'm really not that tired. Wild. I'm That's really not really that tired. Um. I feel a lot better after the hysteria of the fucking <laughs> caffeine. Like, uh, the caffeine. Like I feel a lot better for sure. Having a lot of fun with chat and and Yusuf obviously. Um, yeah, no, in a really good place. In a really good place. Unlike Yusuf, I'm so cringe. I'm fucking garbage. I had a great time with him, but eventually he had to dip, leaving me to my own devices on Elite Smash. My voice though was doing a number on my throat, so for the sake of the run, I decided not to talk to my next big break, which was at the 51 hour mark. You can even hear how shot my voice is at this point. Beautiful. Uh, witnesses. Sorry, I wasn't talking. Voice is killing me, but when I'm back, it should be good to go. With the 2 hour and 45 minute break, I was not only refreshed, but also had my bowels emptied. No! Gross! Don't ask me why, this was the first time I had to poop in like over two days. My body is built different. I guess it knew I had to be optimal, so held it in for me. You might use the bathroom here, right? The bathroom here? No, no, like, number two. No, I pooped. You did? Mm -hmm. How was it? It was fantastic. <laughs> That's hype, bro. Nah. Important thing, though, is that we are back, and this is how I was feeling. Yeah, okay, took a nice nap. Definitely not as, unfortunately, refreshed as I was for the first nap, but I still feel good. Like, like easy clap kind of mode. Now that I was awake, the plan was to continue unlocking the word through Elite Smash. Alright, this is like one of the worst Final Smashes in the game. You said it was one of the worst Final Smashes? It is. Let's go, he fell to the fish. Get the f*** out of here, you chose this stage, why won't you quit? You <laughs> asshole! What a fucking I hate this! Why would like you choose this infuriating rule set? I agree to your terms, unwillingly, and you quit because you're losing! Posture check? My posture's good, isn't it? Your posture's incredible. <laughs> like it's kind of weird how good your posture is. 
Posture check, fix your posture right now. We also caught a big milestone. Wait, wait for it. Oh, nice. I'm glad I got to witness this. Then an hour later, we broke a slightly bigger milestone. The current world record. Five, four, three, like two, one. Officially be officially be Holy sh fellas officially in my name. We are in the Guinness world record Impossible impossible to be done without all the witnesses watching like Yusef most of all hold, Please come in there. Just show, show yourself a little bit. My, yeah, yeah oh, Awkward, but holy sh Actually saved my life throughout this run multiple times. No, dude. No, dude. You're actually like you're actually building. And you guys too, for being here the whole time. Absolutely, you couldn't have done it without you guys either. In terms of tiredness, let's let's start with that. From one to ten, I'm feeling like a like a like a three or four, I would say. Just like I can keep going. Feels surreal. Like I'm like, did I actually do it? Like I, I feel like I'm getting pranked or something. Like it's not actually done. But knowing me, we definitely had to flaunt it a little bit. Oh, huge baby. We are the champions. Get f John, the old <laughs> the old record owner. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This Bowser doesn't know he's versing a world record holder right now. You know that meme where it's like the guys in the corner like holding thing. They don't know I'm a world record holder. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, it was time for me to abuse my power as a world record holder. For the past half hour, I had been getting my ass beat playing as Olimar, an unfortunate integral part of this dumbass word challenge. I regret doing it so much. But anyway, I start a game, and we meet Jay. Jay, wait, if you're in the stream and you're watching, please lose on purpose. <laughs> I don't want to play all of anymore. Okay. Yo, Jay, my god, it's actually my- Oh my god, yo, actually making my- oh, Thank you, King. Please. Jay, my god, I love you. Oh, thank you so- Actually, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is so relieving. Fade actor, my god. Did you actually win an Olimar game? Yes, thank you to my goat, my goat Jay. How, yo, if Jay, get me all the way to Elite, bro. Please get me all the way to Elite. Jay about to secure himself in the video, bro. Actually securing himself. I'm a man of my word. He's gonna be a bigger, bigger, bigger role than Yusuf. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> the truth. Yeah. And doing the actual two video, guys, I have to give a special thanks to Jay. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna go against you again? Yeah, no. They <laughs> Wait, it actually could be a viewer. Who's throwing? He's in the, that, Yes, yes, Yusuf. I I told them. Guys, I was looking at the yeah. I was like, <laughs> I just thought this guy was throwing. <laughs> we eventually departed from Jay, and as we continued the Olimar grind, Yusuf continued his usual tomfoolery. I'm very scared. Yusuf, this are you so going good. to saw con with Nick? Are you going? Uh, you didn't invite me, dog. What? what the what? Sock on. Suck on these nuts! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why did I have this one? Holy shit, I'm fucking so stupid. Holy shit. Oh God. The next and final big oh, break was at the 60 hour mark. I'm so I was just cruising till then. However, um, I came to an awful realization right before it ended. Have I brushed my teeth? Don't tell anyone. Oh my gosh. I have not, like, that's not even a single thing that has entered my brain at all. I have not brushed my teeth in three. I can't even say that out loud. I'm usually very hygienic. Like I floss, dude. I floss. I have mouthwash. I do all the good stuff. Listen, I am exhausted. When I get my break, you think I think about it. I sleep with clothes on? These big ass lights, all of them are on. All I wanted was sleep. Don't even think about the other stuff. The break finally approached. First thing I did was brush my teeth, I swear. Then I took a quick power nap and then bam, we were back at it. It is 4 a.m. It's almost impossible, like physically impossible for me to not get that 69 hours. As you can tell by my voice, I am quite exhausted at this point. I opened up an arena so I could play with the viewers, but my hands were killing me. They were hurting a lot. My arms, or rather my hands, are starting to ache as well. They've been aching. I'm like, I feel like I'm deteriorating as time goes on. And on a scale of one, I don't know how tired I am. Like a six. I'm tired, but it's a good tire. You know, like I'm not exhausted. I would love to go full on out, but my f***ing hands are exhausted. They are in pain. I do not recommend doing this. At one point, I even had the genius idea to give my hands a break by playing with only one hand at a time. I think I'm gonna be playing with one hand. My right hand right now is dying, bro. 
I'm just gonna switch characters real quick. Remember how earlier Donkey Kong was the move for when I was trying Claw Grip? Well, we made it to round two and he's gonna be the one-handed main as well. Wasn't doing very good at first. No, wait, that worked. But then when I asked viewers to also play with one hand, it became a lot more fun. <laughs> I may or may not have been a bit delusional here. Broken. Broken strategy. I'll tilt this. Dude, my juggling is insane. He can't- dude, he took like 100% just juggling. Oh, thank goodness I delayed my upbeat. I didn't have to do it to him, but I kind of did. After three hours playing one-handed, I felt a lot better. I was kind of in a serene and calm mood. I feel oddly calm right now. Like, I haven't felt this calm and kind of collected and like, I'm actually having fun. And enjoying myself, this is strange. But maybe I was a little bit too calm. It is 9 a.m. I am very tired. Uh, it's three hours before the big moment, but um, I'm very tired. I'm obviously not going to fall asleep at any point before then, but I'm, uh, you know, just looking to get it all over with finally. But it seems very doable. Like, these three hours definitely don't seem too agonizing. We made it this far. Uh, in a scale of 1 to 10, I'm like a... I'm like a seven, I'd say. I'm like a seven. Yeah, I'm like a seven. Seven or, yeah, let's go with seven. Yusef eventually woke up and joined me for the home stretch. What are your plans after you finish this? Sleep. Holy shit. I can't wait. Well, you can't sleep too much. You're gonna screw sleep schedule. I, you know how, how, you know how little I care? You know how little? Nick, you're gonna regret it, bro. You know how much- You know oh, I have- I, I have no job, bro? I can do what I want. <laughs> Was it my boss gonna tell me, oh, you gotta come in at work? No. Let's go, okay, Shavi, beautiful. Last- wait, this is the last hour? It's the last hour. Holy sh**. We were officially there, fellas, and the last hour for this insane record attempt, which means we only had one hour to spell the secret word. One more game needed to get Falco into Elite Smash. I have no clue what the word is. Who knows? Oh my gosh. Of course. This is how it must end. I mama, what are you getting hit by? It does the same thing every time. Stop, no! Yo, I got mad damage right there. It's like I'm gonna hype you up, right? So you can damage. No! I deserve to lose. I deserve to lose. I deserve to lose. I get hit by that way too many times. Yes! I can't believe I'm alive. I should up thrown. Oh, he's dead. <gasps> Nick, you fing god. Oh. Wow, holy shit, that was good. That was fing good. That was pog as that was really good, dude. And we did it! Woo! The ultimate achievement. With we 24 did it, minutes fellas. to spare, bro. 24 minutes. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. The Guinness World Record required some candid photos included, so I thought, why not photograph this milestone? Yo, could everyone hit me with the ooh in the chat? Yeah, yeah, oh, come on, chat, you gotta be in this. So, yeah, yeah. start ooh wooing, please. We were getting into the last couple of minutes. Yusuf kept me company and we played some doubles for a bit. Wait, 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 wait. I got a T-Bag. I got a T-Bag for the respect. Yeah, easy. Ah, uh, so simple, baby. Oh, and I got... Yo, I'm kind of nice. Wait, what did I do? I did nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then, baby, we were almost there. Five, four, three, two, one! Why am I not paying attention to the timer? What the fuck? Congratulations on 69 hours. Woo, baby! That's a big things in it. Uh, okay, I forgot to mention, fellas. So, okay, a while back, we kind of changed the goal slightly. We weren't just going for 69 hours. We were doing 69 hours, 4 minutes, and 20 seconds. Oh, 4 minutes and 20 seconds, fellas. Remember, hold, hold. Woo, baby, I'm feeling the pressure. Yeah, go play some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, chat. Gonna play just some, uh, what's it called? Just some, just against some CPUs. Just take it easy. I want everything to be perfect for when, when you actually need to stop it. 
Thank you, thank you so much for those watching. Duck Hunt versus Mario will be the final match of the day. Amazing, iconic characters. Like I said, reminder, big reminder. The focus of my, of my like biggest focus of what I'm gonna try to do is get four hours, sorry, 69 hours, four minutes and 20 seconds on the master clock rather than the live split which you see there. That one is for your purposes only, like, and the one I have is for Guinness. So it's like, I need mine to be as accurate as possible. So I'm gonna focus more on that. If it's not exactly 69, 420 on live split, it'll, take my word for it that it'll be perfect on this on the thing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect, baby! Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Got it perfectly. Sorry, live split went a little over, but we got it perfectly for the Guinness World Records. Oh uh, my No Oh my god. We did it fellas, we did it! Yes! Yes! I'm really excited. Thank you so much for being here with me every step away. Not only you guys, you two of my my friends, I could not have big, big, big shout outs to Yusef, all the witnesses that watched as well. Just absolutely like this would have been impossible without the people who who helped me along the way. Just, I, I can't even, I can't even put in words. I, I'm really happy. I'm really happy right now. This is amazing. I got, hold on, first time he beat Duck Hunt ass. He was, he had a, a full minute to f***ing, to win and he didn't take advantage of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to show him a lesson real quick. All right, that's all we need. Oh, all right. And that's all folks. 69 hours, four minutes and 20 seconds of glory accomplished. I haven't even been on a road trip that's lasted 69 hours before. This is a fucking crazy ordeal looking back on it. My hands have pretty much healed completely since then. I've had no consistent pain from a month later, so all good there. I still play Smash regularly. In fact, when I was bored a few days after finishing the run, I booted up Smash. Yusuf said I was insane. You may be wondering where the certificate itself is. I don't have that on me. Guinness likes to take their sweet time in verifying everything. So thought I'd make the video first, but here's an image of how I'll probably look like holding it up. Thanks so much for watching. I've never made a video like this before. Hopefully it turned out all right, but for now I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more.